at the legendary famed Gleason's Gym here in Brooklyn as we have the lightweight champion of the world, 26 and home, 24 knockouts. One of the most electrifying fighters in boxing today. The box office star, here is Gervonta Tank Davis. Great to see Tank Gervonta. It is great to see you. You are headlining here at Barclays Center. Back here since April of 2018. You won your first world title here back in January of 2017 over Jose Pedrasa. What does it mean for you to be fighting back here at Barclays Center? Uh, it means a lot, you know. Um, just the atmosphere that's, uh, you know what I mean, that's here in um, New York and things like that. Um, it's, it's a great city. I wouldn't have to fight nowhere else but New York City, you know. Um, I'm, I'm grateful to, to be able to have a great fan base in New York, and um, I'm excited, man. We're excited as well. And you know what? I've never seen anybody antagonize you and try to, you know, play these mental games with you compared to that of Roly Romero. Can you tell me, is this the most emotional fight that you've ever dealt with in your career? Nah, I'm not emotional. Uh, at first I was at the one that when we first uh, was going to fight, but now it's just like he, he showed me that he's, he's just... He a hype job. That's a, he trying to hype himself up to get himself into the fight. I believe. I don't think that he's really like. Uh, uh, the way how he acting right now, it just I don't know. It's it's it's. I it feel like it's it's a uh, it's a uh, fake. That's what it is. He's so, just happy to be at this 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 point of view. He ain't never had cameras in his face. You could tell. So you don't believe, because he told me, when I asked him, I asked him last week, and I asked him today, I said, are you sticking with your prediction? And he said, yes. He believes he's going to knock you out in the first round. What's your response to that? I mean, we got to wait and see, man. Uh, hey, that's his prediction. My prediction is something else. So we just got to wait and see, man. Uh, make sure y'all uh, buy the pay-per-view. Uh, make sure y'all... Come out if you're in New York, and uh, I know for sure it's going to be a hell of a fight, for sure. Would you say that if you're victorious on Saturday, that it will be a gratifying win? It will be a satisfying win for you to be able to say, I finally got this guy to quote-unquote shut up? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a lot of that going on. Where, um, a lot of fighters calling each other out but not fighting, so... Um, he worked his way up to uh, this point. Uh, he called me out and things like that. Uh, we got the fight to uh, happen, so it would definitely be um, great to have the, you know what I mean, have him under my resume and say that I beat somebody that called me out and been talking trash. So it'll be satisfying to be able to say, hey, you, you said you knocked me out in the first round, but wait and see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your ring walk going to be like? Because, Gervonta, one thing we know about you is that you and the excitement both inside the ring and outside the ring. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm still I'm still thinking to this day, so I don't know. Have you thought about what the press conference is going to be like? Because I see you're in very good spirits. Do you think it'll get, you know, there'll be some animosity between you two, or you're kind of just looking at it like, all right, he wants to go ahead and run his mouth, let him do that, but at the end of the day, we got to fight on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, the fight here, so uh, it's definitely, um, I don't know. It probably, it probably get, you know what I mean, a little tense at the press conference, but... Not for me, because the fight here, I'm not really worrying about the press conference. I'm worrying about actually getting in there and handle business. I like how you said on All Access that you feel like you're a young veteran, that the younger guys are now looking up to you. With that being said, are you really putting extra emphasis on your preparation and sort of being an example for the younger generation of world champions? Uh, definitely. You know, I think I'm growing as um, I continue on this path. Um, I feel as though that um, each and every day I'm getting better and better, and I'm trying to, you know, um, walk as a champion so so much as uh, fight as a champion. So I think I'm, I'm doing great. Um, I'm not getting in trouble as I was at first. Um, I'm not getting in trouble, any no trouble. So I have two great daughters that I'm trying to raise, um, and I'm trying to be the best person I could be. What's your prediction on Saturday night against Rolly Romero on Showtime pay-per-view? Uh, a hell of a fight, man. I can't, I can't say, but I know it's gonna be fireworks for sure. 
Leonard Ellerby said he thinks that this could potentially be the lighter weight class version of Hagler Hearns. What's your response to that? Uh, definitely all better. You know what I mean? We just got to wait and see. I feel as though that um, he's coming with a lot of power. He's coming with a lot of emotion. And, uh, I'm damn, damn, no, uh, damn, damn near uh, coming with a lot of power for sure. So uh, it's going to be great, man. I just can't wait and see. It's a big fight. Uh, it's a big night for boxing. And uh, we all got to wait and see what's going, uh, what happens. You know Roley watches everything. If you can give him one message, what do you want to tell him? Uh, see you Saturday night. Cervante Tank Davis, ladies and gentlemen, the lightweight champion of the world alongside Mayweather Promotion CEO Leonard Ellerby. Cervante Davis here at Gleason.